वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द सिक्स सेम स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ श्री कृष्णा कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल साइंसेस एंड रिसर्च सेंटर आई होप यू आवर क्लास स्टार्टेड लास्ट वीक एंड आई हैव टेकन दिस क्लास फॉर यू एंड please kindly listen to the class it will be easy it will be helpful for you to prepare for your university exam from the beginning itself so actually it's nutraceuticals today we are going to discuss about definitions the name derives derived from and uh, various aspects of classifications and especially about the economic value how it has an impact towards india's economy and in the whole world so the nutraceuticals we'll start with the nutraceuticals so they are asking about the questions define nutraceuticals and what is its market demand and value towards the gdp these all questions can be raised asked for five mark questions it's possible so the student should have a good idea about nutraceuticals basic idea so initially you should remember we should remember about the hippocrates in 400 bc he quoted that let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food which hold true in today the world as well as we know very well a food a drug or a toxic substance or a poison it decided by the dose which is told by scientist paracelsus and toxicology now have been developed by his strong words and he is the father of toxicology so even hippocrates he was telling about the food it can be used as a medicine and as well as if it is more it may become even toxic also like oxygen how required quantity is survival needed and healthy is needed but at the same time it can even be poison if it is more the quantity even water food also the same thing there are nature which has been given by god for us to use it in the form of food so food can be medicine and medicine be thy food which was told by hippocrates in 4000 bc this is the only line which we can remember as an chronology or history background for our nutraceutical development the term nutraceuticals was coined from nutrition and pharmaceuticals in 1989 by dr stephen d felici usa you can see him the picture dr stephen d felici nutraceuticals are defined under class 22 of the food safety and standard act fssa 2006 nutraceuticals are grouped or group of products that are more than a food and less than a pharmaceutical this word why it is coined or why it is mentioned here because it we cannot 
nutraceuticals cannot be treated as a pharmaceuticals like drugs which is formulated in the form of tablet capsules injections or we can say liquid orals and parental products which needs various scheduled drug like prescription drug and non prescription drug or otc drugs this can be treated as an otc drugs it can be otc form of pharmaceutical so that's why it was said that it is more than a food but less than a pharmaceutical formulations or products according to d felsi dr d felsi nutraceutical can be defined as a food or a part of a food that provides medical or health benefits including the prevention and or treatment of a disease so we know that prevention is better than cure we might have come across these all <coughs> type of need and in the time of pandemic how people were rushing to increase the immunity or to acquire the immunity in our body using herbal foods and herbal drugs and herbs like amla ginger we may be knowing how much it was traditionally in india it was having the demand and now also so prevention is better than cure nutraceutical can be defined as a product containing food substance or substances present presented in the form of a formulation or recipe and are having useful properties for treating or preventing disease in human beings a nutraceuticals or nutraceutical can prevent a disease or ailment relieve the symptoms or cure a specific disease nutraceutical can contribute towards health care because of their complementary role so i hope the students can easily write a clear definition about nutraceutical they help to maintain health or to healthy lifestyle so when you talk about nutraceuticals they are nutritional supplements and pharmaceuticals which needs safety and efficacy with scientific evidence then only we can tell that it is a nutraceuticals so it has to undergo what all studies clinical studies which we are carrying out for pharmaceutical formulation for nutraceuticals also it has to be carried out very perfectly like phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 all these things have to be done to formulate that's why the name is coined like nutraceuticals the consumers are shift towards nutraceutical because of the below given reason the meaning is there are many reason why we are nowadays shifting to nutraceuticals why the market is having such a demand for nutraceuticals increasing number of consumers increasing number of consumers means demand is increased concerned about safety efficacy 
of a product with cost. This is always a common factor for any product to be launched in a market or a market research for a product. This is the one concept behind how the customer or a consumer having a concern about any product stating that safety, efficacy of the particular product and next one is what is its cost? How can I offer it? Can I purchase it? Is it like the purchasing capacity and the value? So the cost and the value of any product plays a major role in the market. It's applicable even for the nutraceuticals and other products of pharmaceutical products. Products in promotion, promoting health are tuning to nutraceuticals to improve their health and prevent chronic disease. Chronic disease, we know that how people are getting the pain and how they are rushing towards the treatment and to get the complete relief. So how it is not getting a cure in a certain period of time. So we need the improvement and to prevent from the chronic diseases. So that's why the demand of nutraceuticals to prevent by getting before getting an ailment, before getting a disease. Prevention is better than cure. People believe more in prevention than a cure. Economically challenged patients who cannot offer the natural foods or natural sources of proteins and vitamins. There are many proteins and vitamins if you have to need a particularly an animal or from a, um, or a flow, plant or floral sources if you want to get some fruits there may be very costly and cereals sometimes may be costly by means of mentioning about this protein and vitamins but still we have availability of many sources and many cereals and many fruits in a low cost it is available but when it is not available there are many particular fruits then it can be dependent on in the nutraceuticals which is available in the market in a in the product. So when you come to this picture you can see that the clinical evidence is very important from the fruits or the vegetables or animal products whichever used for to produce a nutraceuticals a nutraceuticals and food supplements which is the picture which they say nutraceuticals can give probiotics and prebiotic foodstuffs foods from special medicinal uses but safety and efficacy plays the major role to be determined in the market and food supplements like minerals vitamins protein supplements functional foods and herbal products so by this we can have an idea that is what Hippocrates told foods can be medicines medicines can be foods which we are using market and the growth we are having a discussion now about the nutraceuticals in india and the world despite the foreign origin of the world nutraceuticals what is its it entitles is indigenous to india india has a rich heritage India has a rich heritage of herbal medicine that we know that Ayurveda, Siddha, basically we have many traditional medicines and supplements which have found resonance in our Indian mythology and also Flocklur, the traditional cultural medicinal practice of using various natural sources of plants and animals for medicinal purposes. So when you see that compound annual growth of India and in the world, currently the Indian market imports more than its export 
USD 1.5 billion in exports and imports. The USD 2.7 billion worth of nutraceuticals. The market is expected to grow. The significant 22 percentage of compound annual growth rates by 2023. The Indian nutraceutical industry has been growing 25 percentage annually during the pandemic of 2019. Global nutraceutical market size was valued at USD of 383.69 billion in 2022 and is poised to grow from USD 420.14 billion in 2023 to USD 863.38 double the amount billion can be expected in 2031 growing at the in CAGR annual growth rates can be seen at 9.5 percentage during the forecast period of 24 to 31. So now we can see that nutraceuticals can be subdivided into three like fortified nutraceuticals based on chemical nature recombinant nutraceuticals when you talk about fortified nutraceuticals orange juice with calcium cereals with vitamins and minerals flour with added folic acid milk with cholecalciferol based on chemical nature nutraceuticals examples like carotenoids polyphenolic compounds phytoestrogens dietary fibers fatty acids and nutraceuticals of Recombinant nutraceuticals, yogurt, cheese, vinegar, fermented starch, bread. Nutraceuticals can also be again classified or divided into two parts, conventional nutraceuticals and non-conventional nutraceuticals. Conventional nutraceuticals, we can see chemicals like formed from herbs, nutrients phytochemicals probiotics like microorganisms <clears throat> nutraceuticals in, with enzymes non-conventional nutraceuticals can be again classified like fortified nutraceuticals and recombinant nutraceuticals with gene modified organisms gmo the nutraceutical marketed in India can be further divided into functional foods, beverages and dietary supplements. While functional foods include such as breakfast cereals. In the class we had a discussion about the green gram and fortified flour. Functional beverages include commodities like sports drinks, fortified juices and glucose. Dietary supplements which contribute over 65 percentage of Indian nutraceutical market including commodities such as macro nutrients and herbal and non-herbal extracts. It is this segment that draws major competition and is the home ground to farm like Amway, Himalaya, the Dauber and Imami there are many companies which they have produced various nutraceuticals in the market. This segment is growing 
at a rate of 17 percentage and hence will drive the growth of the market. The strength of Indian nutraceutical market also emanates, emerge or spread out. We can say emanates means spreading out from certain supply drivers which place its almost the strongest market in the world. That's why scope of nutraceuticals, sometimes they may ask, what is the scope of nutraceuticals? A short notes, the student have to be able to write, nutraceuticals can provide substantial health benefits, especially in prevention and our treatment and acute and chronic human diseases. But its development depends upon its quality, safety and long-term adverse effects and toxicity. The study is very important, safety and efficacy as per WHO. As well as supplementation studies and clinical trials in humans is very, very important to go for a product of nutraceuticals. Attempts are made to avoid genetic disorders using nutraceuticals in the form of enzymes, probiotics and fortified foods. So this point, it has to be, it is a precaution to be made. The manufacturers are producing nutraceuticals. That is also a scope, one of the scope which is important to be considered. One of the main points to be considered for the manufacturing manufacturers of nutraceuticals attempts are made to avoid genetic disorders using nutraceuticals in form of enzyme, probiotics and fortified foods. Probiotics means are living organisms that are intended to have health benefits when consumed or applied to the body, skin externally. Fortified foods are those that have nutrients added to them that do not naturally occur in the food. These foods are meant to improve nutrition and add health benefits. Commercial nutraceuticals have to pass through strict regulatory controls to provide a positive impact on an individual's health. So when you see the scope of farmers, that is nutraceuticals, we can give this picture and to give the explanation in a point by point by the student. Nutraceuticals can be applied for oxidative stress. It can be given a preventive measure for various cardiovascular diseases, arthritis, allergic conditions, GI dis diseases, anti-diabetic, diabetic control. Inflammation, towards inflammation, anti-inflammatory drugs, cancer can also be treated or prevented, not treated. Prevention can be given, boosting can be given, control can be given and also prevention from the cancer from the beginning. We can use nutraceuticals to by means of supply, by means of antioxidants. So when we talk about this picture, when you come to this picture, you can see that Cardiovascular disease from the nutraceuticals by means of using certain examples of nutraceuticals which we have mentioned there. Cardiovascular diseases like we can use that is controlled proteins, peptides, amino acids, antioxidants and vitamins in the plant source and animal sources of medicinal products, phytosterols, garlic, omega-3 fatty acids containing natural products and when we come to cancer and chemo or radiotherapy gens, that is gensetin from ginseng curcumin curcumbalonga turmeric ginger silibinin so yeah, isoflavones can be used for cancer, chemo, radiotherapy, supportive 
nutraceuticals skin diseases can acquire support from the nutraceuticals from bioactive botanical extracts bioactive peptides carotenoid supplementations bioactive polysaccharides these all can be used for prevention by means of nutraceuticals type of nutraceutical product available in the market today nutraceutical in the market consists of both traditional food and non traditional food traditional food consists of natural whole foods with new information about their potential health quantities not quantities qualities potential health qualities which no change to actual food examples lipine in tomatoes omega 3 fatty acids in salmon fish non traditional food resulting from agriculture breeding or added nutritions and ingredients is to boost their nutri nutritional value example beecha carotin enrich rice and soya bean cereals with added vitamins and minerals orange juice fortified with calcium cereals added vitamins and minerals dietary supplements from food and drug administration regulates both finished dietary supplements products and dietary ingredients like ispagul all brand these all grains can be used examples yogurt probiotic for intestinal health food cereal snacks enrich and soluble fibers vitamins and minerals omega 3 milk is the prevention of heart disease omega 3 fatty acid concentration of milk omega 3 fatty acids have been linked with many health benefits of consumers such as reducing the increase or incidence or increased incidence of cardiovascular disease and improved neurological functions by omega 3 fatty acid canola oil and which lower the triglycerides of cholesterol reduction oats ban oats ban and we can see it's a brown rice of psyllium this is psyllium flowers and lignin for heart disease and colon cancers can be applied prebiotics oligo fructose oligo fructose for control of intestinal flora stenols stenols or we can say benicols which can reduce the cholesterol absorption so even you can see benicols or stenols from the flowers of the plants or stenols which can be used for various digestion purpose and as well as to reduce the cholesterol absorption so when we talk about the food food high in fructo oligosaccharides which we have just now discussed in the previous slide jerusalem artichokes shallot and red onions acidophilus yogurt diet soda bananas nutritional bars plant stenols are naturally found in small amount in the plant foods such as whole grains nuts seeds fruits vegetables beans lentils and vegetable oils they are also added to some foods in large amounts such as yogurt drinks and yogurts and spreads also 
the reason they have gained so much interest in recent years thinking to their ability to help people to control their cholesterol we call more about the plant stenols at benicol so students have to go for this reference what is this plant stenols and what is its benicol because benicol products contain added plant stenols they are designed to taste delicious and also they help people to lower the cholesterol as part of a balanced health diet medicinal foods medicinal foods some of the example health bars with added medication transgenic cow and lactoferrin for immune enhancement the cow rosy transgenic cow produced human alpha lacto or alpha lactalbumin not lacto lactalbumin enriched milk at 2.4 grams per liter this transgenic milk is a more nutritional balanced product than natural bovine milk and could be given to babies or the elderly with special nutritional or digestive needs available products of lactoferrin transgenic plant for oral vaccination against infective disease also available it's an interesting of preparing vaccination instead of pricking by needle vaccination can be given by the production of tissue culture plants and also by means of culturing the plants culturing the tissues or uh, by injecting the required antigen genes to introducing the antigen genes into the plants of vector system by gene gun and chimeric virus or you can see electro poration can be done in the plant growth of transgenic plant and allergic and antigenic gene can be produced in the form of very fruits like apple or a tomatoes bananas cereals carrots as is shown in the picture can be oral delivery can be given to the human as an oral immunization by using vaccination so classification of nutraceutical based on their therapeutic implication for the treatment of prevention of special specific conditions post rate support tomato lycopenes amino modulators ginseng female hormone support black cohosh false unicorn that is black cohosh is a flowering plant that's natural to the north india north america its scientific name is acite rosimosa and semisifuga or semisifuga resmosa and it's sometimes called black bubane black snake root bane berry or fairy candle they popular women's health supplements aramifemin contain black cohosh as an active ingredient black cohosh roots also seems to have some effect similar to the female hormone estrogen and when we see this plant of false unicorn root chamelerium lutim family melanthaceae so false unicorn is a herb underground stem rhizome 
and the root are used to make medicine. So human, that is for no, women, use false unicorn for treating ovarian cyst, menstrual problems, menopausal symptoms, vomiting from pregnancy and infertility. Some women take it to normalize hormone, hormones in the body after discontinuing birth control pills. So you see this type of information of the natural source, plant source should be known by everyone. Everyone apart, we have to educate the people, educate the patient, educate the community. Diabetic support can be obtained from garlic and momordica, like bitter card. Digestive support by digestive enzyme. Cholesterol lowering garlic, cardiac disease by garlic can be controlled, cancer prevention, flex seeds like linseeds, green tea, flex seeds, linseeds and you can see this is green tea, arthritis support by glucosamine. Glucosamine, when people said it was funny when 20 years back, 25 years back when it came. But it was having more impact towards the most trusted support for knee pain. It is an amine group which is added to the glucose. You can see the structure very clearly. You know the glucose molecule. Glucosamine is a natural compound found in cartilage. The tough tissues that is cushion joints. And supplement form. Glucosamine is harvested from the shells of shellfish are made in a lab. Brain health and allergy relief can be given by Jinkako biloba. It's having nervous stimulants can be used by Jinkako biloba and various uses even in Alzheimer's also they are using it. <coughs> Classification of on basis of therapeutically important compounds of nutraceuticals, product responsible for health benefits, antioxidants, natural antioxidants, health drinks we know, and cereals and grains is common we know, dietary fibers, fibers, probiotics, digestive enzyme, prebiotic helpful in the drug, healthy bacteria, and digestive enzymes, enzymes, there are many enzymes which can be get from the natural sources, vitamin supplements, inorganic minerals and phytochemicals and polysaccharides, arabinogalactones, isoprenoid, carotenoids, flavonoids, bioflavonoids, phenolics like phenol, is polyphenolics, fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acid, lipids, fingolipids, proteins, soya protein, and herbs as a function of food. When you talk about difference between the prebiotic and probiotic, very clearly the student should know when you are studying clear about the nutraceuticals which contain a sector of prebiotics and probiotics. Prebiotics are nuts which is rich in fibers for digestion. Like apple which is rich protein or pectin, not protein, pectin type of soluble fiber. Banana rich in vitamin and minerals that benefits gut health. When you see that probiotics, this is about prebiotics, nuts, apple, banana examples can be taken. But probiotics which is made by us, it is prepared. For example, kefir added benefits of yeast Organic acids which are present in the kefir, milk product which contain yeast. Live, live, live yogurt contains friendly bacteria which may be helpful for our gut digestive system. And pickles, commonly we are using in our place more pickles, 
both toward, throughout India, an excellent source for natural antioxidants. Role of researchers and development in nutraceuticals. In general, we should know that to test the safety, purity and potency of the product is the role for a researcher to undergo for nutraceuticals to develop a more effective, efficient means of producing ingredient for the use of the product to develop test methods. Test methods, again I am repeatedly, test methods should be published. It should be given information for the new researchers and young but pharmacists developing test methods for ensuring verifying the consistency of the dose of ingredient including the company products. Develop a new product either by combining existing ingredients used in nutritional supplements or identifying new ingredients. I am telling about some of the examples. We finished the general study, general explanation for the nutraceuticals. This is some example in the market. Very few, one or two I have taken. Like Nutra Collagen Plus Antioxidants for healthier skin that glows. Repair the protect the skin deeper structure with a nutritional drink that contain skin healthy nutrients including collagen, peptides and natural antioxidants. Expected result if you are taking smoother and firmer skin, hydrated skin that has a natural glow, reduced blemish and the marks which, which the females are more interested to remove the marks. So how to mix? Mix a sachet or the sachet which is given by the company containing the half of a glass you add in the water and consume daily. Best result. Best result used for two months. So the ingredient were all present in the Nutrova collagen. It contains collagen peptides from fish Natural antioxidants from tomatoes, grapes and green teas. Vitamin C, vitamin E. Taurin is a natural occurring sulfur containing amino acid. It's particularly concerned in your brain, eyes, hearts and muscles. And canary flavors and fructose. It's a Nicholas product of the company which can be available in the market. Same example, like Calcitrex is also available. This is Nicholas product of Nutraceutical Calcitrex F, Calcium Citrate, Vitamin D3, Folic Acid Supplements and Strong Bone and Teeth. 60 tablets are available. This Supracid Capsule Supplements, Amino Acid Capsules also available. And you can see this Figlo, Learn Nutraceuticals, Figlo Saran F, 350 milligram capsules of Figlo gluten is also available. Thank you. Thank you for being with me this general nutraceutical class. Please listen and down and if you, I will give you the notes of PDF and read it. You just go through what all the things. What do you mean by this nutraceuticals? How the name is coined and what all the different types? How can be classified and what is its economic value in India? These all things sometimes five more questions they used to ask about the definitions and its economic value and how they are classified. What all the things, what do you mean by conventional, what do you mean non-conventional, what do you mean by, uh, what is the difference between the pharmaceutical products and nutraceutical products. These all things can be explained by means of this small lecture which I have given. Thank you. Thank you.